Want to make your own homemade vinaigrette and throw away all those bland bottles? Stay tuned and we'll do it together. All right, we're making a vinaigrette today and we're gonna put it, make a salad to go with it. And so here we go. Uh, a vinaigrette, I'm doing a hot vinaigrette. And so uh, we're gonna start with some onion. So you have two spots to decide how thick your onion is. One is right there on, on this side of the knife. You notice I'm cutting it and leaving the last little bit connected. And I'll turn it and we'll cut. The second place is on this side of the knife right here. That's where you choose the thickness. So we want this to be nice and small. Smash those garlics. Make, make life a little easier. And I'm gonna chop those up nice and fine. A little oil. Onions. Give the onions just a little bit of a head start. Garlic's going in. While that's cooking, we're gonna cut the rest of our greens. I'm gonna use a little bit of romaine. I don't want the whole thing. We're just, it's just a piece of the puzzle today. And so we're gonna cut the romaine in thin strips. We call this, we call this a chiffonade, the thin strips. Again, make sure you slide, you always wanna slide your knife. Now my pan looks a little dry. I'm gonna add just a touch more oil to it. Get those onions and garlic cooking well. I wanna get a little bit of color, a little brown on them. It sweetens up the vinaigrette. So my greens, romaine. I have some arugula for some spiciness. I have some spinach, some baby spinach going together. If there's anything big, you can cut it down a little bit. Got some basil. You, you roll up, roll up your herbs. Slice through them nicely. That's going in. Then we're going to take a little piece of your red pepper. Pull that off. You can get some of the white part out by scraping it with a spoon. Nice, safe, easy way if you want to get some of that bitter inside off of your pepper and not cut your hand doing it. So then we're gonna take your pepper and we're gonna cut it nice and thin, as thin as you can get. So I also like a little bit of fennel or some sort of other, something else crunchy, celery, um, cut well but I just need a little piece. Just a little piece of fennel for this one. If you've not had fennel before, it tastes like licorice. Uh, I like that black licorice smell and taste, but it's, it's dense, so you wanna cut it super thin, and then I'm just gonna roughly cut it in half. It's gonna go in to my salad. Last but not least is some almonds. I like, these are toasted almonds. Make sure when you toast your almond, you get brown all the way to the center. Don't leave a little white. Don't leave a little white in the center because then it won't it won't taste quite as good. And I'm just going to rough chop these. Add that depth of flavor, that nuttiness, the crunch factor. Now it's time to make the vinaigrette. Put your towel down. Give it a little tie. Put your bowl in the middle. Keep it from moving on you. So. Like I said, this is gonna be a warm vinaigrette. So the warmth comes from this here and from your onions and your garlic in the pan. And we're gonna add some honey. And we're gonna put your mustard in there too so all this stuff is warm. Mustard to help emulsify your vinaigrette and for flavor. And I'm not looking to cook these at all. I'm just trying to get them warmed all the way through. Mm, mustard and honey. When it gets hot, it just smells absolutely phenomenal. So once it's good and hot, then it's all coming out into my bowl. Now, if you've cooked with me a, a while, you might be saying, gosh, those onions and garlic were a little dark. That's just how I like them. 
Um, I, I just like sweet things, and so the more the onions and garlic are cooked, the sweeter they get. And if you don't like it quite so dark, well, you're cooking, you can do that. And so vinegar, we can use any vinegar you want to for this recipe. I'm gonna use balsamic today, or we could use sherry vinegar, which is another one of my favorites. Doesn't really matter. You just need a vinaigrette. So let's get that a little warm too. So now we have our hot vinegar, honey, mustard, garlic, and onions in the bowl. Anyway, get them mixed up. And, and then we're gonna start making the vinaigrette. So we're gonna whisk fast. And pour slow. Whisk fast, pour slow. You'll see that in a lot of my other videos because we, we like emulsions. Emulsions are good because when all the flavors are emulsified, when they are basically mixed together without separating, then you have all the flavor distribution in your mouth. And that's really a fantastic part of eating. I don't like having everything separate because food is made to be together. Just like people, just like us, we're made to be together. And there are ratios. There's ratios for how much vinegar to oil that you add. Uh, I don't follow those ratios all the time because I like my vinaigrette to have a little bit more bite. So I like to have a little bit more vinegar to the oil ratio. Usually it's uh, three to one, three parts oil to one part vinegar. I do a little less oil than that just because I like the bite. So when you're in here and you're looking at your vinaigrette, it should look like it's all together. It shouldn't look like oil and vinegar that separates. That's what the mustard helps bring together. And even when you put it on the back of your spoon, it's all really one, it's, it's together. And this emulsion will last for a long time. So let's give it a taste and see how we're doing on that bite. That's fantastic. Mm. That is so good. We're gonna stop there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Get that mixed in. Let's put the whole thing together. So you have your salad and you have your vinaigrette. The whole point for me, I don't, I'm not a pour my vinaigrette over salad kind of person. It needs to be put together. It needs to be, it needs to be mixed. So we're gonna put a little vinaigrette on here. Gently toss it together. And then it's going straight to the plate. And just a fresh drizzle of some of that vinaigrette on top. So now I have this great salad, but also you learn something. Hopefully you learn how to make a vinaigrette and an emulsion and take that home with you and use it over and over and over.